Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Frank Cimento. I am the Vice President of Brokerage Development uh, here with Elevate and Elm Street Technology. And uh, we're going to get started here in about 30 seconds. There's still quite a few people trying to log in. And I just want to go over a couple of housekeeping items first. There's going to have a there's going to be some opportunities for you to interact with us. Uh, we're going to have some poll questions um, in your control panel um, on the side of your screen. There is a chat window and you should be able to uh, leave us a chat window uh, message. And also you will be able to ask questions. So uh, we would love for you to ask questions because we're going to be giving everybody an opportunity uh, today not only to learn about social media marketing and, and what talkers do about it and what doers do, but we're also going to give you an opportunity to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, free uh, a coaching consul consultation where one of our social media marketing experts will actually spend time walking through uh, your social media channels with you and giving you some tips and some tricks and some shortcuts. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. Um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for taking time out of their day. Uh, to, you know, learn about this because that says something right away. You know, the title of this webinar track is Talkers versus Doers. You know, in my 25 years of being in this industry and working with agents and top teams and brokerages, I've come to a conclusion that there are two camps of real estate agents. There is that camp of agents that like to talk about their business challenges uh, almost ad nauseum. And then there is the other camp of real estate agents that actually like to do something to solve their business challenges. That is specifically who this webinar is for today. If you're a talker and you just like hearing yourself speak, this is going to be a waste of your time. Um, this webinar today is for people that realize social media is a critical key component to their business. Uh, you need to be active and consistent in it. And you've got to do something about it if you're not currently doing what is required uh, in social media. And so that's what this is for. We're going to give you some great training. I'm going to give you some good high level uh, tips, tricks and shortcuts. But we are also going to provide for you a sneak peek, a first look ever. We've never done this before in a webinar with Elevate, but we're actually going to walk you through and show you our solution. So if you're on this webinar because you are wanting to learn about social media, but you also realize you might have a need for a social media program, we're going to actually show you what our solution does. And we're going to do all of that today. And uh, we're excited about it. So let's let's dive in right off the bat. Let me explain a little bit about Elevate. We are an all in one solution. And it's really important when you talk about marketing and all of you as real estate agents, you need to have an only statement. Um, for us, our only statement is we are the only platform in the real estate industry, hands down, that combines all of the functionality and your core services into one platform with one username and one password. There are many vendors and technology companies that provide pieces and parts of what we do. We are the only ones in the industry that combine all of this into one platform. Uh, it's an IDX website. We're going to talk about that. We're going to dive into it. We're going to talk about your IDX website. It's an advanced productivity CRM system uh, with a CMA wizard built into it. Uh, it's automated email marketing, best of class, uh, something that MailChimp and Constant Contact cannot hold a candle to and specifically designed for real estate agents. Uh, there's a blog. We're going to talk about what, how important a blog is for you to have, what you need to do on your blog. Uh, how often you need to be blogging and why it's important to have your blog embedded inside your IDX website for SEO purposes, search engine optimization, uh, automated social media. One of the only companies in the industry, we are the number one social media marketing platform in the United States. We work with more MLSs and real estate associations than any other company. And that is what we do best. That is where we are the experts. We are the social media marketing gurus. And, and we don't take that, uh, that banner or that title lightly. Uh, we take it with a lot of responsibility and that's what we're here to do is educate you and make you better. Uh, video tours, YouTube, lead generation, all of you that have been using the Boom Towns and the Commissions Inks and the other programs that do pay-per-click advertising, you're going to love what I'm going to show you uh, because we have higher conversion rates, we have more lead volume, and we do it at a fraction of the cost. Why do we do that? Big question I get all the time. How can you do what the other guys do and do it for so much less? It's really simple, guys, and I'm very transparent. We made a business decision early on that we were willing to work on smaller margins. That's it. No magic. 
uh, no silver bullet to it. Uh, we can do we can beat the other guys and we can do it for less money. So that's what we're going to talk about. But let's dive into some facts. I want to give you some stats. I want to give you some data that you really ought to maybe screen grab from what I'm showing you. And you need to put this up in your office. And this webinar is being recorded. So if you have attended it uh, all the way through at the end and you want a copy of it, we're going to give you an opportunity to do that as well. Also, if you would like to schedule and take advantage of the free uh, consultation where we will go and look at your social media channels and give you tips, tricks, and shortcuts in the chat window right now, just write schedule me. And somebody from our team will reach out to you and they'll get you scheduled with a one on one with one of our marketing experts. And, and that's not a sales pitch for you. I'm doing that now. I'm going to tell you what you have an opportunity to get involved with. But this is for you to take advantage of our team to give you one on one undivided attention and walk through your social media channels and find out what's working, what's not working and what we can help you do better. So very importantly, this is something that we kind of live our lives by here at Elevate is in business and in life, you get what you focus on. And that's really important to set the stage for what I'm going to be teaching on today. You know, you want to focus at talkers and doers. That's what we're here to discuss and what the differences are and what are you. But you want to focus on growth, efficiency, and climbing the ranks. And here's why. This is, this is statistical data that is, you don't have to like this data, but it's the facts. The top 20% of agents nationwide represent 85% of all the listings. Now, that is crazy when you think about it. We always hear about the 80-20 rule. But those top 20% of agents nationwide also represent 55% of buyers. They also have the lowest operating costs. So if you're not in the currently in the top 20% of real estate agents production wise in your office, in your local market, or maybe even nationwide, let me break it down and explain what you're actually doing. You are competing with 80% of the agents in your local market for 15% of the listings that are available. That's what you're doing. If you're not in the top 20%, if you're not in the top 20%, you're competing with the other 80% of real estate agents in the marketplace for only 45% of the buyers. Now, none of us on this webinar would say those are good odds. In fact, I would tell you that if you do not have a plan or a strategy or even a desire to become one of the top 20% and get into that rank, you've got better odds in Vegas. I would say save your money jump on a plane, go blow it out for a weekend because you're going to have a better chance of making money on the roulette table than you are in the real estate business. Again, I'm not trying to hurt people's feelings. These are the numbers. The data doesn't lie. This is just what it is. So let's go with a poll question. We're going to throw this up. I want everybody to be able to respond and interact. Let's make this fun. Are you in the top 20% of production in your local market? Simple question. Are you in the top 20% or are you not? Yes or not yet? because I don't like the no answer. If you're not there yet, we're gonna help you figure out a plan and a path to get you there because that's important. So we're gonna walk through that. And Aaron, and I've got people on this on, on uh, from our company that are on here helping out. And so Aaron, when you get some of those results up, feel free to interrupt me and throw those up there because I'd like to see what the percentages are of the people that have tuned into the webinar and whether or not they believe they are in the top 20% of their marketplace. So you can feel free to submit uh, in, in the poll questions there. Now, let's take a look at what do doers spend their time on? What are the priorities? What are the tasks? Okay. Talkers spend a lot of time talking about their pipeline, talking about all the business they have. Here's what doers do. This is the top 20% of real estate agents nationwide. This is how they chunk out their time. Really important to take a look at this and compare this to what you spend your time on every day and every week. Number one, business development pipeline management. 50% of the top 20% of agents in the country spend 50% of their time on managing their pipeline. That's their database. That's their CRM. That is social media marketing, staying in front of their customers and their spheres of influence. 50% of their day is spent on their pipeline. 25% of their time is spent on their active customers. Somebody I just got a listing contract from. All the things I need to do to set up the marketing. I have a fiduciary responsibility to those people. I've got to pay attention to them. 15% of their time is on the pending deals. Again, 
fiduciary responsibility. You need to make sure that escrow funds are put in the bank. You need to make sure that, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the lenders are squared away. And so you've got to spend time on that. 10% uh, of your time needs to be spent on new inquiries, any new leads that you got in. That needs to, uh, uh, that needs to take up about 10% of your time. So when, you know, most agents that I've seen over 25 years of consulting with them, you know, they struggle with their pipeline with what I call a heart monitor. It goes up and down. And here's the way it works in the, in the real world on the street. I'm busy. I've got a client. I got some impending. I've got active. I got people I'm trying to get to hire me. I'm spending all my time with those folks. Guess what I'm not doing? I'm not marketing. I'm not managing my pipeline. I'm not keeping the pipeline going. So I've got a spike. I'm busy. I'm up here. My marketing is down here. All of a sudden, I get these deals through the pipeline. They close. What do I do? I got nothing behind it. I got to go back to marketing. And we see this part monitor approach. We don't want to see that, guys. We want to see a a trend that goes left to right, trending upwards all the time, consistent pipeline. That's how you grow your business. That's how you increase your capacity. I talk to agents and brokers all the time that talk about wanting to grow. And when we really dive in under the hood and figure out what they're doing, we realize they're not really trying to grow. They're trying to maximize their capacity. How much uh, productive efforts are you putting in? So we've got right here on that poll, uh, thanks, Aaron, for throwing that up there. But 70% of you said you're not yet in the top 20%. So that means that 70% of you are competing with 80% of the agents in your marketplace for a very small fraction of the listings. Guys, let's agree right now to change that. The market is shifting. Everything is changing from this COVID thing. I'm going to show you some tricks how to leapfrog your competitors. And it's not that hard. It really, let me share an anecdotal story. Um, I spent uh, uh, quite a few years with Remax. Uh, I was responsible for building out franchises in the Southeast. Dave Linegar, founder of Remax and an icon in the industry, a very smart man. Uh, we were out in Denver, Colorado, and we had about 300 potential franchisees sitting in a room. These were all people considering buying a franchise at Remax. And Dave Linegar walked up on stage and he put a, a slide up on the, on, the, on the wall and it had 10 things to do if you wanted to be in the top 5% of productive and profitable franchises nationwide. 10 items. And he said, now, before I walk through these 10 items, I just want to go ahead and let everybody in the room know there's about 300 of you in here. Less than 1% of you are going to do all 10 of these things. It doesn't matter how much I speak about it and how many times we tell you about 1% of you are going to do it. About 50% of you are going to do three or four things on this list. And what he was trying to say is it's not that difficult. There is modeling that you can copy and follow. This has been done before. You don't have to pay what I call the stupid tax. You don't have to learn it on your own. This webinar is designed to make sure that you don't pay the stupid tax. I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do. But the goal is, and, and this is what I want to make sure everybody here uh, that can hear me understands. I'm going to show you what you need to do to be successful. We have more than 80,000 real estate agents nationwide using pieces and parts in different aspects of our platforms. We have all kinds of data. We can tell you if you do these five things, you're going to win. If you don't do these five things, you're wasting your money and you're wasting your time. So I just wanted to illustrate that point because we really just want to cut, you know, cut to the chase and, and show folks what is really important. Now, Part of understanding where you need to spend your time is what's the highest and best use of your time. I am blown away by how many real estate agents have no idea what their time is worth. They have no idea. And I've broken it down for you. Screen grab this. Put it in your office. Every time you get ready to perform a task during the day, remind yourself of how much it's costing you. If you are only earning $36,000 a year in real estate, which means you're probably a part-timer, it is still costing you $18.75 per hour. Now, the assumption here is that you're working 40 hours a week and you're working about 48 uh, weeks per year. You're taking four weeks off. So if you're working less than that, your cost per hour is actually higher. And when we talk specifically about social media marketing, you've got to be spending at least 10 hours a month on social media marketing. That is like the bare minimum to even have an inconsistent presence on social media. You need to be doing more than that, but I broke it down just to make it really clean and simple. All of you ought to be looking at what you do all day long and all week 
and compare that. I used to consult a high-end luxury real estate agent that wanted to get her business from 50 million a year to 70 million a year. And I asked her to go and track what she was doing during the day and during the week. And when we went back and got together and analyzed it, I realized that she had a love for staging property. She loved it. She used to run around town and go to all the antique stores and buy little trinkets and things to put in properties as she was staging them. What we realized is it was costing her about $14,000 every time she staged a home. That was the cost of her time. And I asked her point blank. I said, are you, by staging this home and spending this much time, are you increasing your commission by $14,000? She said, no, of course not. And I said, then are you maintaining $14,000 worth of commission by staging this? In other words, if you didn't stage it, would you lose $14,000 in commission? She said, no, probably not. But, you know, it helps me, you know, do what I do. She goes, and, and quite frankly, Frank, she said, I, I love doing it. And I said, listen, you can love doing it all day long. But at $14,000, you could hire five teams to go and stage a house better than you could. And you could walk in and give everybody directions in one hour and get the heck out and get back to what's a higher and better use of your time. So I'm saying that to illustrate a point. This is probably the number one thing we see with agents attempting to do social media marketing on their own is number one, they're not consistent. Number two, they have a learning curve. There's a lot of knowledge they need to acquire. And I'm going to make you smarter today because we're going to teach you what we actually do for people. So if you want to do it yourself, you can. What I'm trying to tell you is if you're going to do it yourself, look at what it's costing you. And, and would you would you do this if you knew you were stroking a check? If you had to write a check for, to somebody, you know, if you're making $100,000 annually and you just invested 10 hours of your time in social media marketing and you had to write a $520 check for that, would you do it? Of course you wouldn't. Nobody would. That would be ridiculous, especially when professionals – can do it 24 hours, seven days a week uh, a, for a lot less money than what you're paying yourself to do it. <coughs> Excuse me, let me, let's drive into that. Another, another poll question. Uh, this is a good one. How much time are you currently spending each month on social media marketing? And uh, you pull that screen back down if you can, Aaron, because I can't even read my screen because I can see that in front of you. So I'm just a simple caveman here. If you can pull that down, I don't want to see it. Or what, never mind, I can move it over to the side. Uh, so the, the options are none. I, I spend no time each month on social media marketing or less than 10 hours, which is about two and a half hours per week. Uh, between 10 and 15 hours, between 15 and 20, more than 20 hours. More than 20 hours is more than five hours per week or more than one hour per day that you spend on social media promoting um, your real estate business. All right. I, I want to go through that and, and, and see where that ends up because uh, that's a really this is really important. The reason you're here, hopefully, is because you want to learn about social media marketing. You want to learn how to be efficient. If you don't want to learn how to be efficient, and if you don't like reading the cliff notes. When I was in college, I hated reading books. Couldn't stand it. I was all about the cliff notes. And if that can get me a seat, I was happy. Don't tell my mom that, but that's the truth. If you're like me and you want to learn what are the three or four things I can do right now to move my needle in, in my business, then you're at the right place because that's what I'm going to talk about. Well, I'm not going to get down in the weeds on all the things you could do. Here's the bottom line. Talkers, they think like employees. They have a task list. They clock in at nine. They clock out at five. Doers think like CEOs. And here's what I mean by that. Profitable CEOs do not make $25 per hour decisions. They make $250,000 an hour uh, decisions. The CEO of our company has staff. We, he would, if he was down in the weeds making $25 an hour per, uh, decisions, he'd be sinking our company. And thank God he doesn't do that. We've got a great CEO. But they also don't perform $15 per hour tasks. So the question then for you to think about as we dive into this deeper is how are you spending your money, which is the same as your time? How are you doing that? Bottom line is, uh, this is interesting. We got the stats. So 86% of you on the webinar spend less than two hours, uh, two and a half hours per week on social media. Good. I'm glad you're here. I really am. I'm glad you're here. I hope you came here because you want to do something about it. That's awesome. I love seeing that. Um, it, it's, it's not very fun. Uh, I've hidden the webcams, but I'm still sharing mine. Okay, good. I'm getting all kinds of little messages. So let's talk about what talkers are doing and spending their time on and what doers are doing. Um, social media marketing. 
Talkers spend a lot of time playing around with social media. Doers are delegating it. That's what they're doing. Top 20% of the agents, those agents earning more than $100,000 a year, they're not doing their own social media marketing. They're too smart to do that. They know the value of time. And they understand that they got to be there. They got to be there all the time. And while they're sleeping at night, that's got to be rolling and generating business and keeping their pipeline going. But they're not going to spend the time and energy to do it themselves. They're going to delegate it. Cleaning. I used to hear this all the time. Agents spend time cleaning. At some point in your business, while it's important to go over there and clean that home you're about to show, uh, you got to have people to do that for you when you get to a certain level in your business. Staging. Creating marketing collateral. I hear this all the time, especially at smaller brokerages. You don't have time to do that. Outsource it. If you want to climb the ranks and get that top 20%, these are not what you want to be spending money on. Playing with the latest gadgets. I have a lot of folks that do that. Um, we want to get into this is what you really want to spend your time on. Doers are about the money. It is most often stated that peak performing agents spend most of their time on revenue generating activities. What are they? Well, those are maintaining a consistent pipeline, negotiating, executing contracts and closings, and training. How many of you took advantage of this downtime with COVID to work on some training? Some of you are doing that now. You're here to get some training. And, and I'm glad you're doing that. I'm happy about it. So again, just as a reminder, if you're looking for a solution that has everything in one place, one username, one password, Elevate has it. That's what we do. We have a CRM. I'm going to dive into this and show it to you a little bit. And then when I get done walking through this, we're going to actually work on some training stuff. I'm going to get into the different social media channels and show you what you can do, some tips and tricks. But I just want to very quickly show you, we have got an advanced productivity system CRM. And I want to point something out right off the bat. This is, again, our only statement. This is what separates us from everybody in the industry. And it's why our agent adoption rates are so extraordinarily high. We protect the database for the agents. The number one challenge with brokerage provided CRMs is I don't care how much you love your broker. I don't care if you like them so much, you'll share food off their plate. If you're me and you've, been, in, you've spent and invested 15, 20 years of procuring a database, your sphere of influence, I don't care how much I like you. I'm not sharing my database with you because here's the statistic that nobody wants to talk about. And it's just the truth. The typical real estate in the United uh, agent in the United States switches brokerages about every four and a half to five years. Now think about that for a second. Compare that to how long you've been in the industry and how many real estate brokerages you've worked with. Does it come out to about five years? It probably does. That's the statistical data. That's the truth. A lot of people hate it. Brokerages hate it when I talk about that. They think I'm encouraging their agents to consider leaving, but I'm just saying that's what agents do. Now, if you're an agent and you're building a sphere of influence, the last thing you want is to go to a new brokerage one day and find out that somebody at the old brokerage is now farming your territory. So we've got, you know, there have been people all over stages. You've got the big box brands. You got Gary Keller on stage pounding his chest, talking about all the money they're putting the CRM and got some pushback because they didn't protect the database. And he got on stage and said, we don't want your data. Well, let me just tell you what our clients tell us. There's a big difference between someone saying, I don't want your data, and I would never take your data, and I can't take your data. Big difference between I don't want it and I can't have it. In our platform, they can't have it. Your database is secure. Nobody else can see your contact record uh, details, your name, phone numbers, emails. That is protected for you. We have brokerages that provide our platform for agents. We lock that database down so the brokerage can't have access to it. We give the brokerage access to the key performance indicators so that they can become a big partner to you as an agent, not big brother. Really important. You need to imagine that and, and examine that with your CRM. If you don't have a CRM, I don't care if you use ours or not, but you've got to have a CRM if you want to climb the ranks. You've got to be able to manage your database. Let's keep walking through it. What is what do we do here? We provide an active dynamic website. We're going to give you an IDX website that employs Elasticsearch. People say, what's Elasticsearch? I'll tell you, short, the short answer is it's the same consumer experience that your customers get on Zillow and Realtor.com. We are the only IDX website provider in the country that provides Elasticsearch. What does that mean? Let me give an example. I'm in Clearwater Beach, Florida, and it didn't used to be this way. They fixed it now, but in, in, uh, a few years ago, if you were buying a property on the water and you were a big sailboat guy, 
and you need you couldn't just get a home on the on the water you had to get a home on the water with a deep water canal well there was no field in the mls for deep water canal there was no box to check but if you were a savvy real estate agent you were going to be writing that in the property description you're writing like deep water canal beautiful corner lot right on the water access to the bay elastic search means even if there's not a field for the mls if you are clever enough to put that in the property description the consumer can find it by typing in a keyword it allows your search, your properties to be found. Now, you're going to know what I mean by this because a lot of agents are getting savvy. <clears throat> when they know customers are looking for a pool home and they're checking the box for homes with a pool, uh, agents are getting savvy and they're starting to put in the property description, beautiful home, large backyard, large enough for a pool. The word pool gets in there, it gets pulled in Elasticsearch. Our websites have Elasticsearch. It's an incredible consumer experience. Um, they are built to Google Lighthouse audit standards. They are totally mobile responsive. 92% of consumers are searching properties on their mobile device. If your IDX website doesn't resize itself and look great on a mobile device, throw it out. You're wasting money. Your consumers aren't going to use it. Get a mobile responsive website. You got to have it. Um, we've got an integrated blog. <clears throat> the, the benefit to a blog is, is for SEO. It's for Google. It's for Google. There's two things you got to do when you're doing social media, okay? On one channel, these are like two train tracks that are running at the same time. On one train track, you've got what you're providing of value to the consumer. That's your blog content. We're going to dive deeper into that. But the other side is how do you provide that content? You've got to do it in a way that Google likes. If you do it in a way that Google doesn't like, they're going to penalize you. and You're not going to rank as high. If you're on Facebook and you're not doing things the way Facebook wants you to do them, they're going to penalize you and you don't show up in the news feeds as often. So we want you to be aware that while you're look, focusing on your content, you need a partner that's doing things the way Google likes it. What do I mean by that? Well, we build our websites to Google Lighthouse audit standards. They love the way our websites perform. We outperform everybody's websites in the industry. And we do that because Google loves it. Why do we have an integrated blog built into the IDX? I'll tell you why. It's really simple. You've got to have a dynamic website if you want Google to recognize you. Dynamic means there has to be ongoing changing content. What is the thing that is mostly changing on an IDX website? It's the property searches. It's the MLS data. Well, guess what? That's a database-driven feed. Google penalizes that. They don't like database driven feeds because it's the same on every website there's nothing unique or original or authentic about it so they don't like it they penalize it and if your idx website if that's the only thing changing on your website you're, you're stale you're called a static website that's not dynamic having a blog embedded in your website forces the search engines to re-index you constantly re-indexing is another word for we rank you higher we think you're great. We think you're awesome. We love what you're doing. You're linking out to other places and linking back. You're putting fresh content up. So what we do with our blog is on your behalf, we blog and post lifestyle oriented content. It's all real estate related, but if you're not doing anything on social media, we're gonna keep you in front of your spheres of influence, okay? Um, we're also taking automatically, you don't have to do anything. We take directly from the MLS a feed and all of your listing, new listings, price changes, status changes. We're taking all of that out of the MLS and turning that into a blog post automatically. Now, what do we do with the blog posts? Well, it's really simple. We push the blog posts. I'm going to come back to the lead generation, but we push the blog posts out to your social media channels. So the way you need to have this set up is your IDX website has a blog embedded in it. And then that blog, every time a new piece of content hits that blog, it automatically pushes out to Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook. Those are the core uh, platforms that you need to be on. I have a lot of people that say, well, what about Instagram? Well, a couple things on Instagram. If you like it and you're getting business from it, keep doing it. We're not going to talk about it today for a couple reasons. Number one, Instagram has absolutely no SEO value. None, none, zero. They haven't figured that out yet. The other thing is 
uh, Instagram doesn't like auto feeds. Facebook doesn't allow them to really take on the auto feeds yet. So while it's still a good thing, and we'll give you some trick, trip, uh, tricks and tips on what you can do with it, it's not something we're going to focus on today. I want to focus on the core platforms that are going to move the needle in your business. That's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. And you need those things pushed automatically by your blog that's embedded into your website. So what does that do? It creates a gated experience. I've got content on my blog, pushes out to my social media channels. People see those links on my social media. They click on it. Where does it bring them? Right back to their blog, right back to their IDX website. Now, I'm not going to do it now because I, was, I didn't want to embarrass anybody. But let me tell you a couple of the mistakes that agents make. First of all, they don't have a gated experience. They're taking content from all over the place. Riz Media, uh, the Huffington Post, Fox News, Realtor.com, Zillow, and they're posting content on their social media channels. And guess what happens when the customer clicks on it? It doesn't take them to your IDX website. It takes them to another party's platform. You're building SEO value for the other people. You're also introducing your customers that you've worked hard to get in front of to another real estate agent. In fact, let me share a story. I'm going to be the magician that gives away the secrets. I also spent uh, many years building out the Southeast region for Realtor.com. At Realtor.com, we had a team of people that did nothing all day long but create social media content. Why did we do that? Because real estate agents were craving content. They didn't have enough and they needed stuff to put on social media. So Realtor.com would gladly provide free content to you in the hopes that you would post it on your social channels. What happens when you posted it? People went to Realtor.com. What'd they do when they got to Realtor.com? They inquired on properties. They got saved as a lead. They got captured. And then Realtor.com sold those leads to other real estate agents. So think about this. As a real estate agent, you're taking content, putting it in front of the pe people you've worked hard to get in front of, sending them to Realtor.com, where they're being sent to other real estate agent competitors of yours, or even worse, you might even be buying that lead back for yourself. That's crazy, guys. Don't do that. You want your content in a, in a bubble so that when your customers click on it, they come right back to you, nowhere else. Don't let them get away from you. Don't let them get outside your fence once you put it around them. You've worked too hard on it. I wanna go back and uh and show a previous slide here on lead generation this is something else that we provide um, within our platform we actually have pay-per-click advertising campaigns and i'm going to tell you quickly about it and then we're going to dive into the into the educational parts of this uh, but our social media is pay-per-click we're actually finding high intent based users these are people that are on google looking for properties now here's what's mind-blowing about this that our our lead gen gurus the geeks i call them that sit in a room all day long figuring out what Google's doing and how to get the best out of it and find the most people that are looking for real estate. Here's something that they ran across and found it's kind of a special sauce and I'm giving it away. And I know a lot of our competitors are gonna just start trying to do this. But we have something that we call portal diversion leads. And this is incredible. I don't know why this happens, but consumers actually go to Google and they type in Clearwater Beach Homes for Sale on Zillow. Now that blows my mind. Why didn't they just go to Zillow in the first place and type in Clearwater Beach? I can't explain that. I can't answer the question other than to say, we go to Google for everything now, but we're actually able to capture people that are intending to go to Zillow or realtor.com or homes.com to look for properties. And we're able to capture them for a fraction of the cost of what you're gonna pay for that same lead coming back from Zillow and have to give away a percentage of your commission. We can capture them on the front end. We call them portal diversion leads. We're intercepting them. Our lead generation is incredible. It's phenomenal. We'll tell you more about it. But if you need more people in your sphere of influence, Gary Keller said it. You got your have mets and your have not mets. Lead generation is getting your have not mets. That's what we want to help you with. We have all of that available in our platform. CRM, IDX website, social media marketing automated email and if you want to add lead generation you can do that we've got it for you so when we go beyond that we get into automated youtube videos when i talked about the social media we're actually taking your listings and stitching the photos together and putting them over music and and pushing them to youtube why do we do that who owns youtube google google owns youtube you think google likes it when we go and take a when we put content on a blog 
in an IDX website that's already Google optimized and then we link it out to YouTube and it turns around and pushes that backlink back to the IDX, you better believe it. They rank us super high because of that. They absolutely love it. Guys, the industry has changed. We've seen video go up through the roof. We're seeing like an 80% increase in agents using video. And you got to be on YouTube. If you're not on it, we're going to make it really simple for you to be on it. For those of you that might be thinking, oh gosh, I don't know how to edit video. I'm not really, forget about that. You don't have to edit video. We're doing all that stuff for you. It's automated. Stop wasting time trying to figure it out and do what you don't know how to do. I want you to do what you do best. Shake hands, kiss babies, all of that. Email campaigns. If you're using MailChimp or Constant Contact, just kill it. Uh, we're going to save you money on it. That's expensive, those programs. And you got to go build everything. You got to do everything. We've already got hundreds of campaigns. It's already pre-built. It's simple as point and click, drag and drop. Uh, you're not going to have to learn a new program. I know there's a couple of other programs in the industry. And the knock that I always hear is, oh, my gosh, it's so complicated. I got to go. This is not complicated. Uh, we know the typical agent in America is 53 years old. We know the typical agent in America that sells more than seven homes a year is 57 years old. I have a 72 year old mom who can wear me out on Facebook and, and email all day long. But you know what she hates? She hates RPR. She hates going into her MLS. She's still an active real estate agent. And we built this program so that she can use it. It's drag and drop. You want to edit something? Click in the box and start typing. You want to drag a contact me button to the top of your email? Great. Click it and drag it over. You're done. We have all kinds of reporting. You can see who opens your emails, the whole nine yards. It is a best of class platform that we have in the industry. Now, we're gonna dive into some training stuff. Some of you are like, all right, I get it. You're wearing me out. I got the information, I'm in. If you have seen enough and you're ready to do something, right now, please type schedule me into the chat box. We've got people standing by right now to get you scheduled for a one-on-one -on -one social media uh, consultation. Or if some of you wanna take advantage of the program, you can sign up today and they're gonna post that link for you as well. I'm going to get you into the pricing here in a minute for our platform, but I do want to tell you something that I'm doing since I don't normally do these webinars. We have a team of people that do this all day long and they're more training. They're more of an hour and a half to two hours of just training. I'm doing more of a presentation of our actual platform and some training. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to offer the first 25 people that sign up before 5 p.m. today. We're actually going to give you an even sweeter deal on this program than what we're already discounting. And I'm gonna walk through that for you in just a minute. Hey Frank, <laughs> we're getting some uh we're getting some requests to go ahead and share the um share the visual, share the slide that has the presentation or has the uh, link on it. Uh, would you be able to pop that up in the presentation real quick for us? But uh, with the link right here the sign up today. Uh we're not seeing it in the presentation yet. Let me see. Sign up today. You should see that on the screen. Can you see that? Let's see. Uh, we're, we're just seeing you right now. Hmm. Frank, it says it's waiting to view your screen, so you need to accept oh, there it. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. Was my screen missing the whole time? I wish somebody would have told me. Yeah, it was missing the whole time. I tried oh. to message you. Well, that's just perfect. Thanks, guys, for letting me know. I'm sure we. Uh, I'm sure that was exciting for everybody paying attention. So sign up today. You can, if you want to, you can click on the link. Uh, the link should be in the uh, chat window. If it's not in the chat window, let's get it in there, uh, so folks can sign up or type in schedule me um, for that. And then uh, I feel bad because uh, a lot of you missed probably some of the good slides on some of our email campaigns and and um, some of the automated YouTube videos. And, and our social media marketing, this is what I was talking about, about how you can you know, have a website with your blog embedded and we're gonna push information straight out to your social media channels. And I'm really sorry about that for uh, not being able to see that. So let's keep, let's keep rolling through some of this information and let's talk about some of the educational aspects of this. The, the best social platforms to drive organic traffic to your website, it's your blog, it's Facebook, it's Twitter, it's LinkedIn, it's YouTube and it's Instagram. Um, and, you know, Instagram, like I said, we're not going to dive much into it because there's a lot of reasons why uh, it's just not that valuable for us right now from an SEO, SEM standpoint. Let's talk about, um, let's talk about your, your website, first of all. This is your online fingerprint, guys. This is really important. 
And I mentioned it earlier, is if your website is not dynamic, throw it away. It, it's, a, it's a piece of garbage. It's not working for your consumer and Google doesn't like it. So just get rid of it. And I'm saying that not to be rude. I'm just saying you, you get up every morning, you take a shower, you go to work because you want to make money. You want to be effective. I'm just trying to tell you, don't play around with something that's not effective. It, they're not. The, the, the free placer sites you get from their, your MLS and from NAR, they're garbage. They don't work. They're static. And, and you, need to, you need to have a dynamic website. So you need to be looking at that. You need to make sure it's neat and clean. We see this image in the background is what a lot of real estate wage, uh, agent websites look like. There's all kinds of junk on there. Guys, what's the number one most visited property website, search site? It's Zillow. What does Zillow look like? Big high-res image and a search box right in the middle of the screen. Why? Because that's what consumers want. Make sure your website looks like that. Give the consumer what they want. They don't care about you. They don't know you yet. They don't want to read your bio yet. That happens after you build rapport. Get them into what they want. Provide them the value. They want to search properties. Our IDX websites are built to do that. Uh, you want to make sure they're independent and portable. Remember when I said agents change brokerages about every four and a half to five years? Guess what happens if you're using a website that was provided by your broker, which really isn't even your site. It's just a landing page hanging off the broker's website. You're actually building SEO value for your broker, not yourself. Don't do that. Bad idea. You don't have to go insult your broker. Let them know that, you know, they gave it to you. You can use it, but you want to do something different for, uh, for yourself. Now, with that said, you want a portable website. If you leave brokerages and go somewhere else, you want to be able to take your website with you and all the SEO value you've created over the years. And all you're doing is calling us and saying, hey, switch my logo. I, I changed companies. You want to make sure you've got an MLS feed uh, for your IDX search. I can't imagine how many agents still have websites with no MLS, no IDX feed. That's crazy. It's got to be mobile responsive. You want to make sure that they can view it really well on a website. They're not trying to pinch the screen and expand because they can't see anything. Um, and then and then regarding, I'm getting lit up over here, and I'll bet you it's my team trying to tell me that uh, there's something not working correctly. The other thing that you want to make sure you have is lead capture on your website. I can't believe how many real estate agents have an IDX website and there's no lead capture. There's no ability for a consumer uh, to leave information. And Aaron, I'll let you check in with me, interrupt me. I want to make sure that you guys can still see my screen because I think I'm still getting some messages. And, yeah, you're good. you're good. All right, so now let's talk about blogging. Let's talk about what you need to do. If you guys are going to take it on your own and you're going to go after blogging on your own, what do you blog? What do you blog about? Well, number one is you blog about the things that people talk to you about as a real estate agent, okay? What do they talk to you about? When you're in the grocery store or before COVID and you had, didn't have to wear a mask and all that stuff, what do people ask you about? Blog about that. Write about that. You are the expert in your field. We always hear this said all the time. Content is king. And it, well, it is king because it's the number one search engine optimization builder. Your content builds your search engine optimization. It allows the search engines to find you better. Where do you want to blog? You want to blog inside your website. That's what drives up the SEO and the SDM value with Google. And I want my IDX website showing up. I don't want my blog site showing up. I don't care about that. I want my IDX website showing up because I want people to see it. What are you, what are you going to write about? You know, I, I get into, I have a lot of agents that tell me, you know, I don't have time to write and I don't have time to blog. And I'm like, great, don't. That's why our platform does it for you. You know, every week we're going to blog lifestyle content. We're going to blog all of your listings. We're going to create all that content. If you want to do more, great. You can augment that and supplement it. But if you do absolutely nothing, we're going to do it for you. We're going to blog real estate info, lifestyle info. We're going to give listing updates. What you want to focus on is the hyper local. And what do I mean by hyper local? I, I can't say this enough, guys. Businesses, businesses, businesses. Everybody watching this webinar spends money and you spend money all around town. You go to restaurants, you've got dry cleaners, hairstylists, nail salons, you know, go on down the list. You've got business owners in town. You need to be networking with them anyway. Here's a, here's a tip. This is something you can implement today. The next time, if it were me and I was an agent trying to grow my, my market share and my sphere of influence, I would, the next time I went down to my local sushi restaurant, my favorite sushi restaurant, I would ask to meet the manager. And I would tell the manager, hey, 
I know you're trying to get the attention of all these people that live around here. So am I. I market to them constantly. I have a blog. I like to promote local businesses. I don't have time to write a lot of stuff about you. But while I'm here eating dinner, would you mind going in the back kitchen and writing three paragraphs about something compelling and unique about your business and hand it to me? I would love to put that on my blog and promote you. It's that simple. Do that to the hairstylist. Do it to the nail salon. Do it everywhere you go. And you're going to endear yourself to the business owners. They're going to know that you're working for them. You're promoting them. And isn't it nice to know business owners? They buy and sell homes. So that's a really good thing to do. The other thing is pull your phone out. Video is awesome for blogging. And I can pull my phone out in the pizza shop and say, hey, Joe, tell me what it is about your pizza that makes everybody come back. And I click and record him for 20 seconds. Now I've got a video I can put on my blog. I didn't have to be in front of the camera. I always use my mom as an example. My mom says, I don't do video. I look horrible in front of a camera. Let me just tell you a couple things about that. Number one, get over yourself, okay? Nobody cares what you think you look like. They want to get to know you. Zig Ziglar said it best. People buy from people they like. Be likable. Show some energy. Have some fun. Let people know that real estate is your passion. Helping people buy and sell homes is your passion. Uh, promoting local businesses and being involved in the neighborhood is your passion. And you're out here doing things that nobody else is doing. When was the last time you saw a real estate agent do a little video to promote a local business leader that had nothing to do with real estate or about their real estate business? It just made them a cool person helping other people out. You want to be that cool person. You, it's the law of reciprocity. You do something of value for them, they're going to do something of value back for you. Now, let me tell you about something I did. I made a stupid mistake, so I'm going to save you from paying the stupid tax right here. Discounts and coupons. I was testing an idea, and I went to, uh, you know, I went to a, a, the sushi restaurant, and I said, hey, I'd like to promote you. Will you give me a coupon? And I don't want like a buy one, you know, get one, you know, a BOGO appetizer. That's garbage. I want a real compelling offer. Like I need 30% off your meal. And they did. They agreed to give me that. Well, like an idiot, I went on to Facebook and all the social channels and I just put the coupon up there. And people were grabbing it left and right. But I had no idea who was grabbing it. Then I got smart. And I said, okay, this is dumb. I'm not growing my business this way. I'm not growing the people I can communicate with. So I started posting and saying, Hey, if you really love sushi, Sushi Maru is offering a 30% off coupon. I've got them. If you want one, private message me and I'll send it to you. And then when people would private message me, I would send it to them and I would say, by the way, I send out these types of coupons from businesses around town all the time. If you'd like, and I put them in my monthly newsletter. Would you like me to include you in that? This is how you leverage content. This is how you grow your business and you become a value to people because, you know, sometimes people don't really care about you promoting yourself or your real estate business. Everybody loves getting 30 percent off at the sushi restaurant that you can't go wrong with. So the blogging uh, guidelines, frequency requirements, really simple, minimum once per week. Photo and video increases your click rate, three to five paragraphs. That's all you need. You've got to have an engaging title. And you've got to have lead capture. If you don't have lead capture in your blog, you're wasting time. You know, it's like that, that's, that's just crazy. How do people find your blog? Well, they find it by pushing it out to your social media platforms. You know, that's how you do it. <clears throat> your blog is the catalyst. You want to get it out there to Facebook and LinkedIn and, and Twitter. And you want to get it out to YouTube and, and uh, other places. So let's talk about Facebook, for example. <clears throat> this is a big deal. Number one, let me start with this. If you do not have a professional business page in Facebook, get one as soon as you get off this webinar. Facebook has something called Facebook jail. They're really starting to crack down on real estate agents. You are not allowed by Facebook standards to promote your real estate business on your personal Facebook page. Yet real estate agents do it every single day. It's against their rules and they're starting to crack down. If they crack down on you, you're up the creek big time and you're going to lose everything you've done on Facebook. So the way to do it is you have a professional business page. Post your real estate information on your business page and then from your personal page, go to your business page and share that content back to your personal page. It accomplishes the same goal, 
it gets that information on your personal page, but it does it in a way that is safe with Facebook. And why does Facebook like that? They like it because you're creating linking and backlinking within their platform. That's how you do it the right way. Now, what do you want to post? You want to post your blogs. You want to put photos and video up. Facebook Live is awesome, guys. You should be doing Facebook Live all the time. We, I had an agent the other day that did something that was awesome. I'm going to share this idea. The COVID thing, you know, they couldn't go out and show properties. And, but they had customers looking to buy. And so what they were doing is even though they couldn't get into the houses, the real estate agent was driving around town and doing FaceTime live on the neighborhood, the street. You know, when you're looking at MLS photos, you can't see the homes that are next door or how, how much room is between the homes, you know, blah, blah, blah. The agent was driving around doing FaceTime live or Facebook live to show consumers what the neighborhood was like. And they were talking about the benefits, not the features of the property, not it's 2000 square feet, three bedrooms, two bath. They were saying, this is a great home in a great neighborhood. Living here with children is great. Look at all the kids that are out playing, even though they should be locked down for COVID. You know, the school systems here are A rated. You know, people buy benefits, not features. And you want to make sure that you're thinking about that on Facebook. I'll tell you what I see often on Facebook. I can't stand it. It's a pet peeve because it's ineffective and it doesn't work. Real estate agents post two photos. Do you like this kitchen or that kitchen? Nobody cares. It's not capturing anything. It's not doing anything to determine someone's intent on buying or selling a home. It just makes the real estate agent feel good like they've done something. But it's not providing any real value. Uh, the other thing you want to promote on Facebook are your listings. Absolutely. But you want to make them optimized. What is an optimized listing? An optimized listing is something that has the address, you know, or, or, or it, it's got a link back to your website. These are two examples right here. Uh, you know, you've got something on the right hand side that's like countryliving.com. I click on that. It's taking me to country living. I click on the one on the left, it's taking me to myluxurypalmbeach.com, which is Allison's website, which is embedded in her IDX website with her blog. That's what you want to be doing. All right. An optimized post. What is an optimized post? Simply put, an optimized post is linked to a website, a blog, or landing page. Okay. And the example here in the window is an optimized post. It must include lead capture. So if somebody clicks on that home, they're coming to my blog site where I got a lead capture. If they want to learn more about it, I can capture them. You want to have access to a full listing sheet. If they click on that address. It's going to take them to the listing detail page from the MLS, which I've got from the MLS and it's in my website. It's in my blog. I also want to make sure that it has, it's including an MLS IDX search capability. Um, all the time, I have people that put in post of a new listing. If you're interested, call me. First of all, millennials are on Facebook too, and they're not calling you. And then there's a bunch of photos. And if I click on the photos, all it does is blow up the photo. If I want to learn more about that property, I got to go look for it, search for it on Zillow and get access to it. Agents do this all the time. It's the worst idea you could do. You're better off doing nothing than sending people to Zillow or Realtor.com so they can search for the home that you just advertised. So if you're going to advertise a property, advertise it in a way that's going to get you the most attention. Make sure they can link back to your IDX website. OK, does that make sense to everybody? I hope so. Um, this is an example of what not to do. I was just showing this. We won't spend a lot of time. This is it. You know, an example of a listing. Here's all these photos. I click on them. It blows up photos. Does absolutely nothing to generate interest or generate a lead. An optimized post does. This is it, Colonial to Scotland Drive. You wanna make sure you put the property address in it. Google and Facebook love addresses. They love it. It really drives SEO value. So you wanna make sure that address is in there. Plus, uh, consumers search addresses. They search street names. You wanna make sure they are easily found if people are searching like that. <clears throat> so again, if you've seen enough and you're like, look, I got it. I get it. Let's sign up. Let me get into some pricing uh, as soon as I get through LinkedIn and Twitter. LinkedIn, let me tell you this question we get all the time from real estate agents. Should I connect to other real estate agents? And they ask about that on Facebook a lot. I'll tell you, I, I don't think there's any. I, I think you should connect to agents from your business page on Facebook, not necessarily your personal page. OK. Number two, on LinkedIn, 
It has now become the number one agent to agent referral network in the country. That's important, guys. So on LinkedIn, if they've got an active license and they can fog a mirror, you need to connect to them, okay? I don't care who they are or where they're from or where they're at, but I'm also gonna make sure that in my profile, I let them know I'm the expert on Clearwater Beach. So no matter where you live in the world, if you've got a need in Clearwater Beach, I'm your guy. So that's what you wanna be doing on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, save all your personal stuff and your opinions on Tiger King, Netflix series, save all that for Facebook. LinkedIn is a business network. You only want to promote and post business information. What works great on LinkedIn are your listings. Post your listings. Uh, post your blogs about real estate. You want to make sure you're posting at least two to three times a week. And as a reminder, it is the number one agent to agent referral platform. Blows away some of the big referral chains. In fact, the one that's on the, the sales auction block right now, Carnis and Serva and stuff like that. LinkedIn is better than all of them. And it's probably the most underutilized channel by real estate agents. Make sure you've got a great profile. If you don't have a profile on there, we're going to build one for you. That goes for all those channels I mentioned. If you're using the Elevate platform and you don't have a, a professional page built, no problem. We're going to build it for you. If you already have one built, we're going to go in and redesign it and give it continuity with the rest of your marketing. So you've got a really good looking platform and across all your channels, everything looks consistent and professional because you want to come across as the expert your customers expect you to be twitter guys bottom line this is where the millennials are this is it number one platform used by millennials largest single demographic in the country you know almost 50 percent of the homes purchased last year were purchased by millennials and what you may or may not know is in the history of the world the millennials are going to inherit more wealth than any generation since the beginning of time. Uh, if you're not on board with the millennials, get on board. Remember I mentioned the typical agent is 53 to 57 years old? Good news. Millennials say they like you and they trust you and it makes them feel safe and comfortable. So get on Twitter. It's an open forum. It's easy to get on Twitter. Follow people. If you follow people, there's an etiquette on Twitter. It's called, uh, you know, it's, it's a follow for follow. You follow them, they'll follow you back. You want to post your blogs and your listings. Make sure you're doing it about two to three times per week, and you're going to stay in front of, of uh, millennials. I use Twitter a lot for news. A lot of people post news and what's important to them and what they think, and it clips out to other places. Post all your uh, lifestyle content on Twitter. It's really powerful. YouTube, already mentioned it. Huge SEO. Uh, there's a billion people using it. More millennials are on YouTube than they are on cable TV. Uh, you want to make sure you've got virtual tours on there. Our Elevate platform is getting ready to launch a brand new thing for promoting virtual open houses. This is where YouTube comes in really handy. You want to be educational. You want to maybe get into the video logs, you know, or your, your blogs. That's always really good stuff to put on there. Um, video testimonials are awesome. Uh, you know, video, look, I hear agents say all the time, there's two days that my customers love me the day they hire me and the day they close. All the days in between, they usually hate me or they don't think I'm working hard enough. So guys at the closing table, whip out your phone, put them on the spot, get a quick testimonial and get it on YouTube. And you wanna share this YouTube video back to your blog, which then pushes it out to all of your social media channels. That's the way you start creating this circle and this gated experience. So it's really powerful stuff. I'm seeing a lot of people um, typing in the chat box to schedule me. If you joined late uh, or you don't remember what I said earlier, we have our social media marketing experts that are sitting around waiting to dive into your social media channels with you one-on-one. -on -one. And they will sit down and open up and take a look at your Facebook, take a look at your Twitter, give you tips, tricks, and shortcuts. The only thing you need to do, it's absolutely free, is type schedule me into the chat box. And we've got people monitoring that right now to go ahead and get you scheduled and set up. Your IDX website, I'm not even gonna go back through this. I feel like we beat this, um, this horse to pieces. Um, but just guys, check your websites, make sure they're mobile responsive and they're dynamic. If you've got a website from your broker, you need to go get your own website um, so that if you did leave one day, you can take it with you. And you don't need to be um, you know, promoting your broker's website and building your broker's SEO value. You need to be promoting and building your own. Um, I get a lot of questions of why don't I get leads from my current website? Really simple, three reasons. Number one, no one knows you exist. 
No one knows your website exists. It's static. It's dependent on the broker site. And there's no lead capture device. That's why you're not getting leads. Um, it's that simple. So again, as a recap here, what do we provide at Elevate? It's everything that we just talked about. It's your IDX website, mobile optimized, dynamic, portable, elastic search built into it. And it is built to Google's optimized standards. An advanced productivity CRM. Um, if we've got, if, I'll let people hang around for a few more minutes. We're right up here against the top of the hour. If you want to uh, hang on for a few more minutes, I'll actually dive in live to our CRM and let you actually look at it. You'll be blown away at what we do. Automated email marketing best in class, best in the industry, super simple to use. If you want to hang around for a few minutes, I'll show you that as well. We're going to blog on your behalf and build a blog for you and embed it into your website. Um, we're going to push that out to all your social media channels, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, on down the line. And if you don't have those channels, we're going to build them for you. If you already have them, we're going to redesign them. We're going to do YouTube videos for you. And we've also got lead generation where we can help fill the top of your funnel. If you need 20, 30 to 100 buyer leads, seller leads a month, let us know. We'll talk to you about it. We'll spell out our program pricing for you. And I'm going to do that right now. We're going to dive into some of that. Let me. Um, oh, this is something that's really important. Imagine this. This is uh, when we do our live social media boot camps at the MLS. Our team calls this the money maker slide. Everybody grabs their cell phone and takes pictures of this. This is what you want to be able to say in your next listing appointment. You want to be able to say, here's how I'm going to advertise your listing on social media. And you want to tell them that you're going to feature it on the property, on the website, and on your broker's website. You're going to blog about this property on your real estate blog. You're going to promote it on Facebook. You're going to promote it on LinkedIn. You're going to tweet about it. And oh, by the way, I'm going to create a video for you and post it on my YouTube channel and share that across all my social media channels. I can tell you right now, real estate agents aren't saying this when they're sitting in a living room trying to persuade somebody to hire them. They're not doing it. Our customers do. Our customers do because they have the ability to say it. So let's talk about what Elevate DMS is. That is our digital marketing solution. That is the IDX website, the CRM, the CMA wizard, the automated email marketing, the blog, setting up all your social media channels and pushing lifestyle content out a minimum of once per week, local market information once a month, and all of your listings as they happen. That's we do all of that in one little package, one little platform. Um, you need to type in. You don't need to pay attention to this code. The code is irrelevant because I've got a special deal for you coming up today. Here's the deal for the DMS program. We normally sell this program for two hundred forty dollars a month with a one time setup fee of seven hundred dollars. There's a 12 month commitment. Throw that out the window. We're doing something to help everybody through this COVID mess. We're going to give you three months at 50% off, and we're going to discount the monthly rate. It's only $150 per month. There's a one-time setup fee for us to build everything out for you of $100. Now, the first 25 people that sign up today, I'm waiving the setup fee. No setup fee. You're going to pay $75 a month for the first three months, and then you're going to pay the discounted rate of $150 per month after that. Remember the chart that I pulled up? If you're making $36,000 a year in real estate, you're spending $18 an hour. If you only spent 10, 10 hours a month on uh, social media, you'd be spending $180 a month, which is more than what we're going to do. And we're going to do it all. And 24 seven, you're going to have social media going on your behalf. And you're going to get a best of class CRM. And you're going to get best of class email marketing. And you're going to have all of the other tools that we provide. And it's in one system, one username, one platform. The MLS plugs into it. You don't even have to go to the MLS anymore. You can search properties, set up searches, save searches, and assign them to your customers right through the CRM on the back of the Elevate platform. It's an unbelievable price. The link here at the bottom is where you want to go. And, and uh, Aaron, please post that in the chat window. If somebody wants to sign up, the first 25. We're waiving the setup fee, no setup fee. Now I wanna talk about the folks that wanna do lead gen. Everything I just mentioned is a part of our Elevate Elite program, everything. IDX website, social media marketing, building your channel, CRM, email, everything I mentioned. The only difference between that program and Elevate Elite 
is this one includes pay-per-click advertising for lead generation. So if you want to add 20 to 30 leads per month where we're going out and we're capturing people that are going to Google and typing in Clearwater Beach Homes for Sale and putting them into your pipeline and sending them to you and you exclusively and you only. We do not share them. We do not resell them. They are yours and yours alone. They are exclusive leads to you. That is our Elevate Elite program. It is mind-blowing what it is. For those of you that are spending money on Boomtown and Commissions, Inc., you're going to realize right away we are half the cost. Half. Half the cost. Less than half the cost. So this is the pricing. We sell this at our social media boot camps at the MLSs every single day of the week for $899 a month with a one-time setup fee of $800. We are cutting that down to almost nothing in the webinar. So you're going to pay $375 for each month of the first three months. And then you're going to pay the discounted rate of $749 per month with a $250 one-time setup fee. Guys, that includes the advertising spend to generate the leads. For those of you that use Boomtown, I mean, they're $1,500 before you even get started. And then you've got to advertise on top of that. We made a business decision to work on a lower margin. We're going to give you better quality leads. We're going to give you a great conversion rate on these leads. You know, across the country, regardless of seasonality, regardless of brand, regardless of geographic region, we see a 2 to 4% conversion rate on our leads. They're really strong. I'm, I'm, I'm not emotional about leads, folks. If people say these are good leads or bad leads, it's garbage. They're all leads. What you want to pay attention to is what's the conversion rate. And I'll tell you right now, on our platform, for every 100 leads that comes through the platform, two to four of them are going to sell. That's it. If your commission on those two to four sales is better than what it costs you to pay for the program, it's a no-brainer for you. But we're going to give you that, uh, that program, that discount today. The webinar pricing is $375 a month for the first three months, $749 per month afterwards. It's a six-month commitment. You're going to get 20 to 30 leads per month. And everything else we do, IDX website, social media marketing, everything. This is our premier top-of-the-line program. But if you, the first 25 people who sign up for it, I'm waiving the setup fee, no setup fee. And guys, we don't template this stuff out. We actually build each program out for you. You're going to be assigned a marketing coach from us when you do Elevate Elite. And they're going to work with you one-on-one -on -one to make sure everything is done the way you want it done. They're going to help you identify what area of town do you want to target leads. It's really incredible. It's a white glove treatment. Um, you know, we're the number one social media marketing lead gen program in the industry for a reason. We know that I can get on here and sing and dance all day long and get people to sign up. That's not hard. There are a lot of people that have the money in their pocket and the business challenge that this is a solution for. But we know the key to our long term success is really investing in you. We need to train you. We need to spend time with you. We need to be available for you. Our customer service team is incredible. We have live chat. If you're working on something, you've got a quick question, you don't want to go and submit a ticket like everybody else does or wait for a phone call to come back, you can live chat with us and we'll handle you right there on the spot. So we really have taken it to another level as far as interacting with you, engaging with you. We want to be proactive. Um, we don't believe failure is an option. You're not going to fail on our watch. If you are committed enough to do something about your business and do something about the challenges that you have, we're not going to let you down. We're going to stand up on our end of the deal and we're going to we're going to be right there for you. So let me recap today's webinar price. Do you want the Elevate DMS program, which is all the social media marketing, the CRM, the IDX website? You're going to pay seventy five dollars a month for the first three months and then you're going to pay one hundred and fifty dollars for the remainder of your agreement. And we are going to waive the setup fee if you are one of the first 25 people to sign up today. If you want that Elevate DMS, but you want lead generation added on top of it, that's the Elevate Elite program that you see on the right of the screen. It's $375 per month for the first three months. And then it's $749 per month thereafter. It has a $250 setup fee. And if you're one of the first 25, we're going to waive that fee. Now, do we have any questions, um, Aaron, I, I, I want to stop here because I'm going to actually open up and take a look at the back end of the CRM. But before we do that, we are at the top of the hour. I've, I appreciate everybody hanging on there. Um, really, really excited about the, the people that hung on. Um, 
is there any are there any questions that I can answer in a group setting? Aaron, what do you got for me? Larissa asks, do you provide landing pages? Well, the landing pages regarding we don't we don't you know, I mean, landing pages, I mean, that's kind of an interesting question because that word gets used a lot. I mean, your blog is essentially a landing page. If you want to promote anything you're doing, you want to think of your blog as your landing page. Why do you do that? Because your blog is your landing page and it's embedded inside your IDX website, which is where you ultimately want people to end up. So from that standpoint, now I have people all the time that say, hey, Frank, I love your IDX websites, but um, you know I've got a property management division. I do a lot of vacation rentals. Great, no problem. Create a link to that, and we can hang that page right off of it. Um, I also got a question here that um, I'm trying to read how they worded this. Oh, they're looking at it with regard to the commitment and the contract. Yeah, guys, we require a 12 month uh, commitment to the program. And, and we just, you know, the bottom line is we're doing a lot of work for you. And I break it down to the, the your cost per hour. Again, if you're barely making any money and barely keeping your head above water, you can't afford to be spending 10 hours a month on social media marketing. We can do it for you for less money. It's going to cost you more money to do this on your own and do it half as well as we can do it for you than if you just outsource it to us. I mean, that's really, that, that's my pitch here, guys. We want to help you. We want to take you to the next level. We want you to be an expert. And I'm trying to tell you, stop playing around, screwing around with social media. Let's do it for you. Go do something else. That's a higher and better use of your time. Let me let me jump into something real quick here. I want to go and let me share this screen and go to my website here. I want to pull up and show what the Elevate platform looks like on the back end for the agents. This is pretty awesome. We have an incredible dashboard. You're going to see these little cards going across the top. These are key performance indicators. This is part of the dashboard. So simple. You'll see right away, where did all your leads come from? Where are they in your pipeline? Where, what source did they come from? How long did it take you to claim your leads and contact your leads? All that information is available. Um, your tasks. It's going to show you what you've assigned to yourself. What are the things that you need to do? <clears throat> your contacts. Remember, that's kept protected for you. Nobody else can see that, but it's going to show you where, how many contacts in your database, how you have them categorized. My active clients, I have a fiduciary responsibility to these people. I want to make sure I'm all over them. So who are my actives and my pendings? What can I do? A B is for buyer, S is for seller, R is for renter, dollar sign means they've been pre-qualified. How am I doing on my GCI goal? I put in a target goal at the beginning of the year, and now I want to keep up with it. So this is a GCI barometer that allows the information from the MLS to flow through, and it'll tell me how I'm doing on track to my goal. It'll tell me how I'm doing compared to other agents in my office and how I'm doing compared to other agents in the MLS. I also have an attention card. These are alerts. These are like examples of a, a, a task I assigned. It's gone three days overdue because I dropped the ball or I procrastinated. What are those things? Let me see it. You know, when you get into your navigation your listings this is incredible i don't have to go into the mls anymore my my mls is right here it's all built in i can search for properties save searches set up searches assign them to my customers i can click on any property and go to the detailed listing page uh, everything is here i don't have to waste time going in and out of multiple programs anymore if i want to just look at my listings in the mls fine i can do that those are my listings cmas Oh man, <laughs> I have agents that say I spend hours, you know, in RPR. Guys, pet peeve here. CMAs are designed to get you into a pricing conversation. It's not a substitute for your listing presentation. And let me show you how easy we've made creating a CMA so that you can find out if a person you're getting ready to pitch is reasonable about what they think their home is worth. Okay. So here's Sarah Walker. She's in my database already. Great. First thing that pops up is a, as a, a, a bullet on the map to show me where I'm at. I want to make sure the MLS doesn't have the pin dropped on the wrong side of the street and I show up at the house and look like a fool. That happens. Oh, that home has a, a photo in the MLS from the past. I don't like that. I drove by uh, with my cell phone and took my own photo. Great. You can upload that photo for the presentation and use it yourself. Now I want to go and start pulling some comps down. And this is just general high level. I pull up, I can put in some criteria plus or minus 20% of a target price range. 
It's going to show me all the actives, pendings, and solds. I just click on these. It adds them to my comps. And I go through it, and I go to the next page. Now it's my asset manager. Over here where you see assets on the left-hand side, no more Google Drive and Dropbox. You can stop paying for that. I know it doesn't cost a lot, but it's still costing you something. This is an asset manager. All your documents and your marketing collateral, it's all stored right in your platform. We don't charge you a storage fee. It's all there. So you want to add your documents, your sizzle docs, your golf course flyer, whatever the case is, add it. Now I want to update my profile. I want to remind this customer that I'm the golf course specialist. Save and continue. Now I preview. Here's where the magic happens. Guys, we create a dynamic MLS fed CMA. This is a URL. It's a hyperlink. You send this to your customer and they don't look at it for three weeks. What happens in three weeks? Some of your actives are now pending. Some of your pendings are now sold. You got to go back and recreate that CMA. Those days are over. You never have to recreate the CMA. It updates itself automatically from the MLS. Here's my target property. And it's not just that, but it's got all the images from the MLS. So if I'm sitting down with my homeowner and they're telling me that they think their house is worth, you know, $630,000, I can tell them, well, wait a minute. I don't want to be the person to tell them that their baby is ugly. I want the data to do it for me. I can flip through all the photos in the MLS right in the CMA and say, hey, Bob, let's talk about it. You, this, this home at 630 has a brand new updated kitchen. You've still got four mica countertops. You know, I, I, you know, it gives you the ability to let the data speak for you and you can just keep going through it. We've got all the comps in here, all the photographs. Once we get through this, we're going to show them a pricing guide. So we can give them local market information to let them know this is what's going on in the marketplace with regard to how homes need to be priced. Here's a sliding scale of what we're recommending. Now we go into a left-right comparison, subject property on the left, all of the comps are on the right, and they scroll through so you can make just one more analysis. Now we've got our really important documents. They can actually download the sizzle docs and keep them, and then you're out. That is a CMA in less than 10 minutes that is designed as a trial close for you with a seller to help make sure that you know what's going on. The last thing I'll show you here and we'll wrap this up is I want to show you what your contacts look like. This entire CRM is mobile optimized. You can do everything right on your phone and that's important. If you're like me, I'm not on my laptop. I'm in the car. I'm on the phone. I need to see access to information quickly. You know, Jackson and Chris and Jason, are they buyers, sellers, renters? Are they pre-qualified? What's their phone number and their email? If they've been on my IDX website, what have they been doing? They're viewing properties, they're favoriting properties. Where do they come from? You know, what kind of, how many times have I called them or emailed them or texted or sent them a text? You know, this is the kind of information that we want to see. So if I've got a seller like Teresa Cohen, let me show you a couple things we've got. We've got coaching tasks built in here to keep you on track to keep your customers moving through the pipeline. Let's pretend that Teresa was somebody considering selling her home and that I was engaged. We're at the engaged stage of the pipeline. Well, she hasn't agreed to hire me. Well, what do I need to do with her? Well, I might want to schedule an initial meeting, conduct a meeting, schedule a listing presentation, create a base CMA. All of these tasks are editable. You can add your own new task if you want to, uh, but this is a coaching task. Now, let's say Teresa hired me. Now I've got an active customer. Well, what do I need to do with an active customer? Well, I want to go and schedule a property walkthrough, set up my staging and photography and video. These are coaching tasks, reminders. We've taken Brian Buffini, Tom and Mike Ferry. <clears throat> the list goes on. And we've compiled what are the best of the best common denominator tasks that all real estate agents need to do with each stage of the pipeline. And we've already baked them into the platform, make it really simple and easy for you. What do I do with a pending seller? It means we've accepted an offer. Now it's go time. What do I have to do? Well, I might want to send moving offers. I might want to make sure the lender appraisal has been ordered. I want to make sure the funds have been put in escrow. This is already in here. It's here for you. Now, if we go in and we look at buyers, uh, let me see if I've got a decent buyer in here. I don't remember which one I used for the demo. Um, but if I look at, at the activity for a buyer, I can see that they've set up a saved search. And if I click on that, it's going to show me the saved search they set up. It's going to show me the listings that have matched. It's going to show me if they favorited a property. If they've liked a property, those will all be listed here and I can click on it. The other thing is every morning, my customer is getting a morning report at about 530 in the morning. It's a branded email to you and it's letting them know what's going on. 
Here's the other part of it. Every morning about the same time, you as the agent are getting a morning report from us telling you which of your customers have been interacting with you and what you need to do to work on. The last thing I want to give you an example of right here is I want to show you an example of a website. This happens to be a real estate agent that works in multiple markets. He does business in the New England area up in Boston, and he does business in Southwest Florida. You're going to notice right away, high res image, quick search bar, bunch of different uh, schematics you can choose from and set it up however you want. But I love what he's done with what we call quick searches. He's got his featured towns that he targets, but then he's created a quick search for new listings. He's also created a quick search for luxury properties. He's created a quick search for condominiums. And then he's created a quick search for featured properties. You have the ability to do this. Now, his blog is baked right into the platform. Here it is. You're going to see, you know, plant allergies and how to manage them, how big businesses affect the real estate in rural towns. You're going to see in his blog, you're going to see any properties, you know, that he has sold, another property sold. Now, if I go down and check out his social media channels, let me show you what happens. Here's his Facebook page. And when I pull that up, it's going to show me what he's done. Ideas for, for minor bathroom remodeling projects, lifestyle content. If I click on it, it's taking me back to his site. I've never, he, I, I'm never lost from him. You know, there's three home improvement articles, uh, any of his listing information, that kind of stuff is all going to be pulled up. So it pulls back up the property. And you're able to jump right in there and go right back into the IDX and you're able to see what's going on at a glance. Uh, if we go to, let me show you one more and then we'll jump out of this stuff and we're going to wrap this meeting up. And I appreciate everybody that hung in here to, to look a little longer um, at some of what we do because we're, as you can't tell, we're pretty proud of it. Um, when I get into, you know, this is a brokerage that uses our platform and they're marketing stuff all over their, their different channels. And when I get into, here's a, a sole property that they've got, you know, it's in here. When we look at what's going on, it's new to the market and we click on it, it's gonna take them back to the IDX website where I can search for properties. I can also go right into, um, I can look at their YouTube channel. When I look at the YouTube channel, this will give you an example of what we do for folks on YouTube is we're taking their photos and we're stitching them together and we're putting them over music and we're creating a YouTube video. And then that YouTube video is going back to their blog and then getting pushed out to all the social media channels. So, so that's what we do kind of in a nutshell. Um, I'll take a couple of more questions if we had any. Um, Aaron, if you've got any more questions, let's handle those. It's 322. I wanna be off of this webinar by 3.30. As a quick reminder, if you would like a one-on-one -on -one with the folks that would love to spend time looking at your uh, your social media channels and give you tips, type schedule me in the chat box. If you would uh, like to, uh, you know, go ahead and purchase the property, uh, I mean, the uh, the product, then uh, we've got a link in there that you can sign up today. So, hey, Aaron, you have some questions? Yeah, yeah, we've got two questions that kind of go hand in hand. Uh, could you repeat the difference between the 75 per month and the 375 per month in benefits? And then ask him to explain more about the difference between the elite and the DMS. Okay, that's the same exact question. So, the Elevate DMS is your IDX website, CRM, social media automation to all your channels, doing everything that we've been talking about. That is the Elevate DMS program, IDX website, CRM, social media promotion. You're going to pay $75 a month for the first three months, and you're going to pay $150 per month thereafter. If you're one of the first 25 to sign up, I'm waiving the setup fee of $200, okay? Elevate Elite is everything I just explained. It's everything, including where Elevate Elite comes in is we're adding to all of that social media marketing. We're adding pay-per-click lead generation, meaning we're going out to Google on your behalf and we're capturing people that are searching for properties in the target areas that you're trying to find. So Elevate DMS is, if you look at it, Elevate DMS is our core product that does everything. It's $75 a month for the first three months. Elevate Elite 
does everything and it adds 20 to 30 leads per month on top of it. That is the only difference. Elevate DMS has organic leads that get generated from staying in front of your sphere of influence, but we don't do the paid lead generation. Elevate Elite, we're actually taking our money and going into Google and spending money to capture people and send them to you exclusively. Does that clarify that? If there's any more questions needed around that for clarification, that's really important. And please let me know. I'm happy to answer it. Any other questions? Aaron, did you have any others? I believe they've all been answered. I think you're good. Awesome. awesome. So let's one more time before we wrap it up, let's go ahead and invite people to schedule a one-on-one. -on -one. And let's go ahead and put that into the uh, into the chat box there. And then let's also repost that link. Guys, it, by 5 p.m. today, we're shutting it down. That link that we're giving you shuts off at 5 p.m. today. The first 25 people that sign up today, we're waiving the setup fee. In addition to, we're giving you 50% off our program for the first three months. And then we're charging you a discounted rate as it is. So really excited. Hey, folks, I, I hope you got some good information out of this. Uh, I hope I wasn't too blunt. I hope I wasn't too uh, to the point. But uh, that's kind of how we roll over here. We want to see you succeed if you're really struggling and you have a business challenge in social media marketing and automation and having a great all-in-one solution to get rid of all your other vendors and have one username and one password. Please consider us. We would absolutely be honored to work with you, and we will work our tails off to make sure that you understand failure is not an option. We're going to help you figure out how to get into the top 20% of your market. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'm going to uh, wrap this up now, and I think we'll, uh, uh, Cheyenne and Melissa are going to stay on the line for a little bit longer in case there are a few of you that want to schedule uh, a meeting. Thank you. Everybody have a great week, and I hope everybody stays healthy through the remainder of this COVID season, and I hope we all get back to work soon.